Banker, lawyer, property developer. Who else can afford to drive a half a million dollar Lamborghini? But Richard Ng doesn't work in any of these professions. He's a tutor, a celebrity tutor. With his flashy sports car, designer clothes, expensive watch collection and manicured hair, Ng owns 12 tutorial schools in Hong Kong and has just opened another one in Japan. He has a total of 50,000 students, 300 staff and earns almost one and a half million US dollars a year. It's a kind of uh, chance in Hong Kong. Okay? It, it comes out that there's suddenly a chance for uh, somebody who can teach and who can present themselves well to um, help students. And at the same time, students find that, oh, you can really help them. And uh, every time I, I come to your classroom, I can see something beautiful. And uh, more importantly, they can learn some uh, very important exam skills. And that's why we are worth and we are here. Tutorial schools are big business in Hong Kong, where glossy brochures, giant billboards and TV ads turn these university graduates into stars. Four major schools dominate, but there are hundreds of others attended by approximately one third of all students. They pay approximately 130 US dollars a month to improve their grades in a society where information is power. While most industries took a hit during the global financial crisis, Richard Eng says his business and other Hong Kong tutorial schools have proven to be recession-proof. In fact, he claims in the past year his student numbers have grown by more than 10%. 18-year-old Daisy Chung has been attending Ng's English class for the past two years. My grade improved from C to B now, and I hope there's still a room for me for improvement. While the big names are multi-millionaires, the average celebrity tutor earns more than 120,000 US dollars a year. Government teachers take home less than half that. The education department says while the schools are popular, it doesn't endorse them. I'm concerned with how students and parents use the service where that the money is spent uh, wisely, but if it proves that you know, it really helps the students, a certain aspect of the students, and then I don't think that I have any right to say that uh, I disapprove it. As long as a child's education is considered an investment, Ng and his colleagues will continue to reap the rewards.